Hi lovely air signs, welcome to Joy Energy Tarot, I'm Jenny. This is your monthly intuitive reading uh, for December 2022. So I've done all the shuffling so that we don't have to waste too much time on the video. But then we've got guided messages here for Aquarius, Gemini and Libra. Okay, so let's get on with it and what is happening for you guys this month. So you start off, I've done it sort of approximately weekly, but there is no time in the spirit world. So you guys start off with the strength card. So whatever you've been going through in your life or in this past year has made you a lot stronger. You've gained lessons, you've become stronger. For some of you, you've learned to tame your ego as well. This goes on to the Nine of Pentacles. So this is the card of independence. It means that you can work independently. You could be in a relationship. Or you might want to start up a business on your own and Spirit is telling you, you have got what it takes, you've got everything that you need to be able to do that, okay? Then you've got the King of Cups. So some of you have got a lovely man around you who is very helpful, who's kind, who's caring, intuitive, but he's quietly strong. For the rest of you, you may have been going through an emotional period because I see this is actually next to the moon. And so your emotions may have been going up and down. For some of you, they're going up and down because of this man. For the rest of you, um, this is telling you that your emotions have been going like that, but you're now coming out of that phase of feeling like that and feeling a lot more stable. Your intuition is perfect. You need to follow your own guidance because now you're ready to take on the next adventure. And the card next to it, the moon card, is all about, so you want to go on a new adventure or start something new, this is telling you to break through any illusions, disillusions of what you want to do, where you want to go. When this card appears, it's a great time of innovation, coming up with new plans, new ideas. Your psychic ability or your intuition is spot on and you might be having quite vivid dreams. But it is quite an emotional time and sometimes people move out of your life during that period as well. So going into the second week, you've been waiting now, you've been working hard at something with other people you're not necessarily having to do things on your own it's the dream team so you've been working in collaboration with others and now you're waiting to see the results from all that hard work for some of you too it's being creative you might have been making things and now wanting to see the money come in or um, you know, creating crafts or things like that or working in conjunction with others for some of you though you've just been working really hard and juggling your money around then we go on to the Ten of Swords. So while you've been waiting for that money to come through, you've been worrying. And some of you have had a lot of stress and you might have been awake through the night and overthinking everything. Um, for some of you, it's not the sadness or stress, it's just excitement of new things. So when we have tens, we often have new beginnings. So this is where you're um, overthinking everything. It's going around in your head. Your little spirit is waiting there to... Um, uh, for you to release that worry, and you will do it when your soul is ready. But this is a 10, it's like endings and new beginnings. So I always say to write down the pros and cons of your choices or whatever is worrying you, to get it out of your head, because the answer will jump out at you, it'll be so clear. But anyway, whatever you've been thinking about, that's over now, dead, done, dusted, finished, whatever you've been, for some of you that have been worrying. Then you've got the King of Wands. This is like taking control of your life, being your boss, or there's somebody around you who's like that, um, being strong, feeling powerful, um, being your own boss, um, being energetic, energised, um, excited about what you're doing. And then you've got the Chariot. So that is about uh, overcoming all sorts of difficulties, even past life difficulties, past life karma, uh, things like that, but this is about tapping into your um, universal knowledge or knowledge that you've carried down in your DNA. You are very wise now. You are overcoming everything, all sorts of challenges. So this also can represent for some of your new vehicle or planning an overseas trip. Then we go on to approximately the third week. So so Christmas time. Wow, what do you know? A celebration with people that you feel connected to. These could be work colleagues, these could be family, could be friends. And it's nice and joyful and happy. And this is, um, then you've got an ending. So there's some sort of ending here as well. So it might be the ending to um, the celebration while you take on something else. But for most of you, it's 
uh, if the burdens that you might have been carrying or something you've been working on is coming to an end now and you've seen the good results for all that hard work, but it's now time where you, where you pause, you're thinking, is it worth it? Do I keep going? Or what is next? And what is next? You're going, so if it's an ending of a job, you're getting paid some money at the end of it. So this is about what goes around, comes around. It's a six which tells you you are on the right path. Six is about having the balance in your life. So you're going to receive something that is owed to you. And it could be money, it could be some sort of debt, but something that's owed to you is going to come to you. Um, don't forget to pay out or give out to those less fortunate than yourself. And then you receive some sort of invitation or offer. And that's around that Christmas period. So, you know, could be anything like that. But this is like, use your imagination, look into the future. That's what it's to do with it. Some sort of invitation, offer, break through any disillusions, illusions. Use your psychic ability, your intuition to work out whether you want to do this or whether you want to receive it. That's why it's nice and purple. Tune in to that side of you. And then um, the last week in December, taking control again. You know, the phoenix rising up out of the ashes, feeling very um, great. You're starting to see the results now for all the hard work you've been doing. This can be the boss lady too, or man. Um, just feeling really contented and really happy about where you are at in your physical world. Could be you're at the top of the, the heap in a job or an organisation or something that you've been planning is now coming to fruition and you're seeing the results, feeling wonderful. But you do feel a little bit sad too. So some of it may be um, endings of some sort or you're carrying a sadness with you because somebody's left or they've moved on or, you know, after Christmas, sadness because um, different loved ones have, um, you know, gone off into the uh, universe and uh, not with you anymore. But this can also be looking at the glass half empty. So look, one little step forward and you've got joy and happiness. Look at the cups there. You've overcome all sorts of challenges and now think positively. Fives are about change, communication, freedom. One step forward and you will be feeling a lot better. Then you've got the magician. So this is all about heaps of communication coming in. Emails, phone calls, texts, things like that. But you are just as in touch with heaven as you are with earth. You're a very rounded person. You can manipulate situations so that people see your point of view in a nice way, of course. But you can manifest your dreams. You have got the ability to do that. And here you are now waiting for the truth. You're seeking the truth. This is like information coming in. You've been looking for it. You're looking back a little bit here. You've been able to cut through all the crap and see clearly you're very wise, you're very guided. You would have been searching for the truth to do with some situation and it's coming through now. The news or the messages about what you've been looking for is coming through right now at the end of December. And then covering the whole um, month, it's quite amazing really. You've got your money balanced and organised, you've worked hard, you're sitting on your nest egg, but the only thing is you've trapped yourself, you've tied yourself down and you don't want to spend anything and you're forgetting to go out and have some fun, you're clinging on to your security. But then you've got lovely, lovely happiness. So some of you are in a beautiful relationship feeling very, very happy. For others of you, you're just happy with where you're going, what you're doing, what you're planning feeling really nice, really good. I just love this card. It's, it doesn't matter what you're doing, you are feeling happy. Then you are weighing up your options. You're in a bit of a balancing, juggling act here. This is the Two of Pentacles. So you're weighing up what to spend your money on. What's going to make me feel secure? Where do I want to live? Do I want to keep doing this job? Do I want to live there? All of those sort of things, that's what you'll be doing. And then you've got amazing. You've got the High Priestess. So this is where you've been tuning in, waiting for guidance from above, weighing up your options. You've been hiding away a bit because your emotions have been a bit like that. But now it's time to come out. You're ready for that next adventure and you use your intuition because you guys are really psychic and your life is changing completely. You're transforming. Your life is transforming. You're going into a new beginning into the 2023 year. It's the death of the way of how your life has been. It's going to be totally different next year. So isn't that awesome? You are transforming as well along with your life. I think that's fantastic. Okay, let's write down. Um, so guiding messages for Aquarius first. Just writing down the timestamps. 
and Aquarius. So this time I'm using Tony Carmine Salerno's Magdalene Oracle cards. And he channels the work, the art, and channels the messages. So Aquarius, you've got Gaia, Mother Earth, Papa Tuanuku. Okay, so here you are. Whether you're a male or a female, you are advised to embrace your feminine side. This seems embracing your intuitive, gentle, and loving nature and applying these qualities to a current troublesome situation. Embracing these nurturing and gentle qualities will help you to feel a greater sense of balance. And this will help you overcome your present difficulty. Ask Mother Earth to help ground and strengthen you. And you will feel a renewed sense of vitality. Spend some time in nature. Do some gardening. Go for a bush walk. Go for a walk in the park or the beach. Feel your connection to the earth. And remember that both masculine and feminine qualities are complementary parts of every human being. Balance, true power and wisdom are only possible when you embrace both. So little wee um, poem, for years I have felt your yearning, forever I have loved you. So that's a message from the universe. Okay, now you've also got um, messages from um, oh, spirit cards, the nature of the magic of nature. Your message is occupation. Your work life is about to take a huge leap forward, Aquarius. New offers and opportunities are on the table. Steady growth, new clients are a new career. Wow, what a way to um, end and start the year. Okay, so endings with 2022 um, and beginning of 2023. So this covers that. Fabulous, it goes hand in hand with that uh, transition card. And your angel messages. What goes around comes around, so whatever you've been putting out there, the good work you've been doing is going to come back to you. Peace is just a thought away, so if you're worrying, peace is just a thought away. So I hope you enjoyed that Aquarius, and have an amazing Christmas, and all of December. Okay, now we've got Gemini, and the time is... Okay, Gemini, what do you need to know from your guides? You've got intimacy, ooh... That sounds good, doesn't it? Beautiful artwork from our lovely Tony Carmine Salerno. You may have been emotionally hurt in the past and as a result you are now reluctant to share your feelings with others because you fear being hurt again. It is understandable that you've placed a protective shield around your heart. However, it's now time to drop the armour because at present it is preventing a worthwhile relationship from forming. There is someone who dearly loves you, and the love this person has for you is real. However, he or she is afraid to reveal their true feelings for fear of rejection. Like you, they also fear being hurt. And honestly, you'll be amazed at what unfolds. The most intimate relationships are usually formed through tears and laughter, so don't be afraid to express your feelings, fears, and vulnerabilities. The past is now behind you. Release it and embrace the new. So that's the same for the people who are in relationships as well. Release any fears and release the past so that you can embrace new things, Gemini. And you've got new direction. You are looking in the wrong direction. Turn around and explore other options. Areas and pathways. There's something there that will make your heart sing, Gemini. Well, that's exciting. That gives you something to look for and look out for. And your angel message is... Your garden is a healing place. Seek refuge there to heal your soul. Okay? And now Libra, what have you got? Libra, Libra, Libra. You have got 14. <laughs> okay, Libra. You have got gratitude. Gratitude. Okay. Beautiful enlightenment. So Libra. If you're struggling to make ends meet or experiencing challenging times in your career or business, you may overcome the present difficulty through gratitude. Stop dwelling on what you think is missing and be grateful for all you already have. There's so much in your life to be grateful for and it's through gratitude that the universe showers you with blessings. There's no need for negativity or fear for this only serves to block the universal stream of abundance from flowing through. Have faith and be grateful. Focus on that which is positive and all will soon be resolved. 
You may expect a positive outcome over the coming three months. So your little mantra is, I give thanks for all the blessings in my life. I give thanks for all the abundance in my life. I am always safe. Right, Libra? And your other message is detox. Uh -oh. Something in your life needs cleansing, whether it be your mind, body, spirit, or your living space. Clear, cleanse, heal, or detox those areas which are in need. So hopefully that resonates with you guys somewhere along the line. And your angel message is... Do not live in the past, look forward to the future and rejoice in the journey ahead. Okay? Well, lovelies, I hope you have the most amazing uh, Christmas and December. Blessings to you all and thank you so much for watching. See you all again in the new year. Ka kiri anō. Bye.